Welcome to day five here in Costa Maya. We are on the Carnival Jubilee. We have an exciting day ahead of us. Kayla, what are we doing? Today we are going to the Mayan Ruins and then we are going to the Seven Colors Lagoon for kayaking and a little beach all-inclusive. Yeah, first time going to the Mayan Ruins. Let us know if you've been there. But we're Ryan and Kayla. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like today's video or just want to see continuous cruise content. But we're going to get some breakfast, some much needed coffee, and head on to Costa Maya. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, a way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm going to be on break. Sunny day, sunny day. And we're off and in the port of Costa Maya. <laughs> now, if you don't feel like doing anything or spending a whole lot of money, you can just come here, get a little change of scenery, go in the pool. They do have a swim up bar. From what we remember, the drinks are fairly expensive. Yeah, I think they were like 20 bucks each, but you no, get No, no, the $20 was for the chair and the drink. I don't know about actually the swim up right. pool drinks, but I think it was pretty expensive still. But usually they do like, uh, they do like a wrestling thing here in the bar. Yeah. And then they set up like a pool volleyball net. So they'll take care of you if you just want to go and hang out here. But um, we got an excursion to go run. to, so we're going to head out and, and show you a little bit as we walk out. But not a bad port, honestly. It's fun. Just different change of scenery, kind of same pool, same bar kind of thing, but somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they have flamingos here. What's I don't new? remember this. I don't remember this either. Look, you're so close to them. No, he's having a, I don't want to bother him, but he's having a nap. He's like, yeah. right here. Do you know why they're pink? Because they eat shrimp. Okay. Kayla knows her stuff. I know my stuff. I pay attention in an excursion. So there's like tons of little shops and like market area, like a lot of ways for you to spend your money in here. Oh, Kayla yeah. even got pulled in. She got charmed. By this guy <laughs> to like go in and do well, I don't know a little makeup he thing. Gave me some free samples. So yeah, I was like, so oh. did end up being free. However, how much did they want to charge you for this like makeup thing? It's not makeup. It's an under eye uh, plumper. Yeah. So she put it on both my eyes, and it's like how much? How much? I think it was like seven fifty US. Seven fifty US. That's like, like over a thousand Canadian. It's a bit of a maze to get out of the cruise port. Yeah. But we did it, we made it. We're just going to go find our guide. Well, that was about a, I don't know, 45 minute drive. So it was a lot longer than I thought. A little bit of a snooze there. Yeah, the thing is the uh, tour guide was actually really informative and oh, yeah. you know, made the drive go by a little quicker, but yeah. if you've been to Costa Maya before, you know you're just going down like a straight road for 45 minutes yeah. basically. So not the most exciting drive, but we're about to start the tour soon. We're just, you know, a quick bathroom break, bathroom break stretching our legs. So we had to pay $4 to be able to use the GoPro in here, or if you're gonna do any videos with your phone, pictures are okay. But yeah, and it's only four bucks. I mean, that's yeah, not that not big bad. of a deal and they're trying to make some money, so I get it. But yeah, we're just following our tour, walking through. It's very pretty in here. And a fun little fact for you is actually, Costa Maya is only called Costa Maya until you leave the port. Mm -hmm. Then it's Mahaba. Yeah, and a couple other things. There are, I think he said, 50 different kinds of snakes. <laughs> so that's fun. And But only four of them are like of concern. Yeah, and there's two different kinds of jaguars and he showed us pictures. There's a black panther and just a regular looking jaguar with the, with the spots. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. He showed us pictures of ones that they've seen on the, on the tour. <laughs> so we'll keep our eyes open. Yeah. We're getting cool. close. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I was wondering like, are you allowed to climb this? The, up into like a certain spot, they've got like a rope that'll tell you to stop. Um, I definitely see people up there, but they look like, oh, yeah. look like they work they're here. working on it. Yeah. This one is uh, uh, up, like a small city, three and a half squares miles big, with more than 200 different Mayan buildings. Okay, so we have oh. 10 minutes to explore this area, but we got some interesting facts. A lot of information. Yeah, very knowledgeable staff here. So, yeah. okay, so one, the oldest temple here is 300 BC, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Apparently there's 200 temples here, yeah. but 1,200 Mayan cities total, which yeah. I had no idea. So and that's- He was also saying that there's uh, all the land here is flat. So if you see a hill, it's probably got one of those. Yeah, he said a lot of them are uncovered, they just can't, but, uh, mm -hmm. so I don't know if like visually we could see the one that's from 300 BC, but it's just cool to, to know that that's how far back it goes. So yeah, yeah we're gonna explore around and uh, we're gonna meet up in a few minutes to go to the next area, but mm -hmm. let's check it out. I wonder like how much like maintenance they've had to kind of put in this to make sure it's like standing still. Well, if you look up, you see some people <laughs> yeah. that are maintaining it currently, so yeah. 
Yeah. It's uh, crazy to think Very how cool. long this is. 300 been BC here. people were making this stuff. That's right. crazy. And right. these were in hills. They've uncovered this one. Yes, they've excavated. Which is and, crazy. Like, dusted and, like, but yeah. this one, a fun fact, another one, is that this is actually a temple yes. because. It's not ruins because there's nothing inside or no one was like living here or anything. Mm -hmm. So I said this one would be like more of a religious symbol, like a temple. Yeah. Temple where um, they would do rituals. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ooh. Do you know which one is the most important mineral for the Mayans? Any idea? Gold. No? Silver. Jade. No? It was the jade. This area here, he was saying, is where um, the base of the foundation of their homes was so only the elite lived here. There probably wasn't the trees here It, uh, it kind of looks like an arena. That's what we thought it was at first. That was really cool What he was saying about the jade. Yeah. Uh, the jade was the most important um, I don't know stone or what do you yeah. call it? Yeah, uh, Mi uh, material. Mi mineral or yeah, anyway. Yes, that's the word. Yeah. They were even the ones who started like I want to say grills, but they actually put <laughs> yeah. jade inside their teeth. Yeah. So. so like to symbolize wealth, I guess, was they would make their heads bigger. So I would I would have been really wealthy, I guess. <laughs> no, but what they did is they took wood and they put it on the outside of their head, and I guess tie a rope, tie a rope around it. it, and that would symbolize like wealth. Then they would put. They also, cross-eyed was a symbol, symbol of wealth. So they would dangle a piece of jade in between their eyes. So they would help with going cross-eyed, I guess. Then what Kayla was saying is they would put jade on their teeth so they had a nice smile. <laughs> a lot of stairs, but look at this one. This is the biggest one. I got a couple things to tell you. So, what I found really interesting was that the Mayan ruins are, or the temples, are kind of shaped like in a pyramid like that because what would happen is one ruler would build the base and then the next ruler that came in could not destroy it. So what does he do? He builds another layer on top of it which i thought was really funny because nothing's really changed nowadays we're always trying to one up each other but yeah nothing's changed yeah we're out of breath now well, we're gonna take some pictures i don't know it's pretty similar to those cruise stairs so <laughs> yeah Getting used to just me steps. then so another th interesting fact is they told us like what the uh, outside used to be like and it used to be all colorful and like stucco and whatnot and this here that you're seeing is basically just like the skeleton of what's left but yeah they showed us a picture of what it used to look like and it used to be like really colorful and there was a uh, something on the top of the temple and then like the entrance was really well done as well so this is kind of just like I was saying like the skeleton of uh, what it used to look like and there's Kayla talking to you guys on Instagram so go ahead to uh, Instagram at Ryan and Kayla and give us a follow you get all the live stories okay another really cool thing okay I'm really enjoying the history of this tour as you can tell I'm hitting you guys with all these facts okay so this tower here is called the Sun Tower this temple here is called the Sun's Temple and it directly faces east towards the Venus temple, which was the first one we saw. Yeah, and a really cool thing about these two temples is that when it's the summer solstice, the sun actually comes up directly behind the temple, and that's how they use it as a calendar, because they'll, they'll know what time of year it is based on where the sun is. So, very cool stuff. And this one here is called the Temple of the Moon. Now, I have to ask the tour guide why it's called that, but I'm sure it's along the same lines of like the calendar or like time of day or or something like that, or where the sun sets, but we're gonna find out. We are heading back to the main area to meet with uh, our other person who's gonna take us to the lagoon area. So Kayla did this whole excursion, so I'm kind of experiencing it, you know. As she booked it, I didn't quite know what we were doing, so I really enjoyed the Mayan temple stuff. Good job, Kayla, that was really good. If you guys liked it, give this video a like, subscribe, we have continuous cruise content. We got a lot of cruises on the books. This year we're doing Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, and Celebrity. So if you like cruising at all, <laughs> you're gonna wanna follow along. But our next one's uh, in May in the Mediterranean. So make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna keep this tour going. We're having a great day here in Bahawal. I just wanted to add on the lagoon portion that we're doing at a resort. 
and kayaking kind of thing. Uh, that's just one add-on of the tour. You can do just the ruins, you can do the lagoon thing, and then there's also this like uh, cooking portion where they're gonna make uh, tamales in uh, basically what we understood was like someone's backyard, but they're gonna do it like the local way, which is really cool. I would have enjoyed that as well. Wow guys, this place is beautiful. We're gonna show you around, but it's pretty windy today. So I don't know if kayaking is in the books, but we'll see if Kayla's feeling it. He said we can do it. We just can't go too far. Yeah, gotta be careful. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> as soon as we got here, they had welcome drinks for us. We're gonna sit down for lunch. Drinks are included, food is included as much as we want. We're gonna get into the water soon. We're just trying to get settled in. Okay, first things first. Um, you go down a little country road and um, it seems a bit sketchy, but you're fine. Sorry about all the wind, it's very windy here. Um, it's probably ruining the audio a bit. We're starting off with a free lunch. So we got some nachos, some tortillas, some tacos, all pretty good. Kayla got gluten-free, vegetarian, and I got uh, pork and chicken, so. We're gonna try it out, get a, have our couple drinks, and get on the lawn chairs and relax for, I think about an hour before we have to start heading back, so. Just a little bit of time, perfect relax time. So Kayla, how's your, what, vegetarian taco? So good, I put, I'm not even joking, two microscopic drops of this habanero sauce on there. Spicy, do you think it's too spicy for me? It would just do like, start small. Okay, take a bite, let's I, see. I did. <laughs> good thing you got a pina colada to help. <laughs> So neutralize the burn. Everything's super fresh. So this pico de gallo, I added some in there too. Some fresh vegetables. Okay. We got the chicken and pork. I put a lot of the spicy stuff on there, so. How much? Quite a bit. We'll just see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see. Sorry about the wind. We'll just see how it tastes. Oh, it's not bad. If you like spice, it's not bad. It's good. It's got actually got the perfect little amount. You feel it, but it's not too bad. We're hanging out in these little cabanas, which is over the water, and it didn't cost anything, which is amazing. We're kind of rushed for time, though. We don't have too much time. After we finish eating, we have like 30 to 40 minutes, so not too much time. Everyone's like kind of left already, because I think they're, it's about an hour back to the ship, so we're kind of close this place out. I just wish we had more time here. I know, I feel so rushed. Yeah, it, it's pretty good, but maybe like next time we would Come, maybe just come here. Mm -hmm, or yeah. the other tour with the food stuff is really good. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, although this is so pretty, especially if you're just gonna take this Even off, on a windy day like today, maybe. like, you know, Costa Maya is Costa Maybe kind of thing, but. Yes, and so I think it's definitely a Costa Maybe on those kayaks because watching these waves smash yeah. into the rocks, I'm like, mm, I don't really there want that There were people TV. here with our same bracelet that were here all day. So mm -hmm. I wonder like how that works exactly. They just so booked the, they just booked here. I think they just here. booked the Black Bacalar, um, Bacalar Lagoon. Resort. Yeah, so they just did this. Yeah, um, so if you like what you see here, you can just come relax here. All inclusive. Yeah, and the food was fantastic. My pina colada is honestly probably in my top three. Wow. See, they're not the frozen drinks either. They're, yeah. they're, I think uh, I like it better because yeah. it's not frozen. See, I kind of like the frozen drinks, especially on a hot day, but. This one's real pina colada. Like, it's, it's not. Uh, she likes it a lot. It's not the liquid pre made, pour it in a cup. Oh, I see. The real right. ingredients, That's not real not from a connection. not from a, a jug of juice or whatever. And it's already time to go. <laughs> no, I'm really yeah. sad. This I would definitely. Yeah, I was gonna say I would, the resort is beautiful. I definitely recommend doing these here. separately, but maybe not this combo tour because you just don't get enough time here. Yeah. Um, by the time we got comfortable, settled in, had lunch, it was basically time to to pack up. So could have enjoyed a little bit more time here, but. Mm -hmm. All in all, both th things individually are amazing. So whatever you decide to go with, There's you're gonna really have a great wrong, time. Yeah. Not a wrong answer. Yeah, but it's about an hour drive back to the cruise ship. 
Yep, we don't want so, to be, uh, what are they called when you're running for the ship? Uh, pier runners? Pier runners, yeah. We don't want to be those people. So. Yeah, so um, we'll see you back on board the Carnival Jubilee. If you like the video so far, give us a like and subscribe. We've had a great day. You can also follow Kayla and myself on Instagram, at Ryan and Kayla. And uh, it's just more personal touch. You can get answers to direct questions there. And um, if you want to go one step further, you can join our membership. It's just a fun way to support the channel. Just click join down below. But we'll see you back on the Carnival Jubilee. And we're back on board the Carnival Jubilee. The uh, Radiance of the Seas with Royal was here with us today. And the Norwegian Joy um, decided it couldn't park with us today. So we actually, first thing in the morning, it was going the other direction. And we were really confused. We're like, did it stay overnight? Like, what's going on? But yeah, I guess they decided they couldn't pull in. I am curious though, how many of you are kind of loyal to Carnival or loyal to Royal or Norwegian or Celebrity, for example? And, uh, or you're just maybe looking for the best cruise deal? I'm uh, interested to know. Let me know down in the comments. So the next drink, I saw someone lady make a smoky watermelon margarita. Okay. So I thought I'd give Kayla to try it. I don't know how she's gonna feel about this. Well, that's not Because, you know, they put the smoky, whatever makes it smoky. Like a Tabasco sauce? No. It's like, they, like, like muddle the watermelon like and stuff. And it's just, it is mezcal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, it gives me more of a mezcal than a tequila. Um, it's, it's good, though. I almost wish it was... A little more watermelon-y for me. It should be. That, plus, because of that heavy mezcal flavor, I almost feel like there has to be, like, a spice. Like, there should be a jalapeno oh. in here to, like, give it, like, a... You know what I would like? Spice. That spicy salt. Ooh, like Italian yeah. sauce, Italian, good. like salt. Oh yeah, that would be fire. Okay, in case you didn't see the celebration vlog, because we were laughing, we saw some really depressing ones as we were coming over. I showed you guys how the easiest way, it's not the only way, because the staff are really good, especially on Royal, but it is the easiest way to get your cone in a perfect shape. And I'm going to show you now. So all you're going to do is you're going to be down and you're going to like boop it up like this every time. Wow. Look how easy that was. I see you guys with logs hanging over the side and you don't know what to do. Look, That's easy. Gorgeous. Now it kind of just disappeared on Kayla. I'm gonna go get some big chicken. Seems like the lineup is pretty low at this time of day. All right, Kayla, what do you got there? We have a Grey Goose vodka martini, dirty. Yeah, I don't know if you've got one yet, have you? I, oh, I had several at the piano. Oh, yeah. Several. Yeah, I don't remember like much about that night. Just thought it was a really good time. <laughs> I was a little concerned. This looks a little clear. Yeah, it's but. not as dirty as you normally like it. Oh. Wow, that is smooth. Yeah. It's not super olive -y, but like it's so smooth. Like it's a dangerous drink. Okay, so I was able to get the um, potato artichoke cheesecake gluten free. <laughs> Which I didn't think was going to happen, so it's kind of exciting. An artichoke cheesecake. What is that? It's good. Potatoes, artichokes. And somehow they made like a little tiny cheesecake out of it with sauce on it. Really good. Yeah, so I got the spare ribs. It comes with corn and uh, some steak fries. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, I was spending about an hour already. So we got the entree in an hour. So I was starting to get a little hungry there. <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, these look really good. So, oh, that just came right apart. So that's really nice. Wow, those are actually really good. Yeah, really tender. Just peels right off. I didn't even think I could potentially even get 
a molten cake. They made a yeah. gluten free molten cake and it's hot. Like, yeah, I think I the melting myself. chocolate cake is like the best dessert. Really? Well, I don't know. I haven't had them all, but Super it's really good. I'm excited for this. I haven't had a molten chocolate cake in years. The world is watching. The world. Okay. Is it like pudding instead or is it actually cake? No, it's like. Well, I mean, it's cake on the outside and then it's like melty on the inside. <laughs> she looks happy. I mean, like, I'm getting a cake. Yeah. Like a melty cake. Like, I get what you have. Yeah. That never happens. It's, okay, we finished dinner. We came into the theater. Good thing we did, because yeah. it's, it's filling up already. And it's like, and the, the show starts in 30 minutes. It's basically full, but oh. Kayla's in love with this right now. I'm obsessed with this. Because they have, like, spooky decorations. They also have, like, people dressed up as, like, I don't know, mummies Statue. or something. And, like, scaring people as they go by. It's well, hilarious. They're standing really still, and they wait for people to write them off as a statue, and then they're like... <laughs> and they scare the crap out of people, and I'm obsessed with this. Also, I don't know if you're going to be able to film this, because that just seems to be the way things are going. But I will try my best. <laughs> Soulbound. Let's go. Holy that was a lot of fun. Holy. Yeah, the singers and dance is really good. You know what I love about, I think Carnival does this really well, is like the screen behind the yes. singers and dancers really helps like... It contributes to the show. Definitely. And it, and it makes it really entertaining. Um, and they're really like, seem to be high definition screens. They're really good. Yeah. But yeah, that was but a lot of fun. even more amazing was the singers. Yeah. I was able to get uh, some shots. They didn't say no filming. So we'll see how it turns out. I just did it on my phone. But uh, we'll see how it is. We're now about to go buy our cards for Deal or No Deal. Mm -hmm. We just talked to someone and uh, they kind of taught us how to play how to because play. we just watched before. So I think we're going to play this time. Um, it's like I was saying earlier, it's $50 for three cards. So maybe we'll get called up. Wouldn't that be... Oh my god, I would die. I'd be nervous as heck. I would take the first deal. He'd be like yeah. $17. I'd be like, done. Okay, yeah. <laughs> deal or no deal? Deal. <laughs> yeah, I just a bird in the hand, right? Yeah. All right, let's go do this. Okay guys, we just bought, we bought three for 50. We just found out it's the best value. So if we get <laughs> called hoping. up, you're going. <laughs> no, I'm the worst. I'll take the first deal. Oh, no, they'll call me, me, I guess. Or I'll stay till name. the bitter end and leave with a penny. Let me know, guys. Is deal or no deal like a waste of money? Like, how many people actually win here? Let me know, like, in the comments. Who's played? Who, who's won? And what you've won? Or have you ever been called up? I just want to know, like, yeah, are we just, like, playing scratch tickets here, basically? And we're basically throwing our money away? Or is there actually a good chance? It's one of your fun squads. Very special evening. Not only to host deal or no deal for the umpteenth time. Time, but he's doing it on his birthday! So right now, you guys, please want to say your birthday host for Deal or No Deal. Give it up for Victor! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Victor! Happy birthday to you! Please, please. cases as yours. This is gonna be yours for the entire game. What case would it be? Audience, you can help her out, okay? You can also help her decide. Shout it out, shout it out. You have suggestions? Let me hear you, let me hear you. Which one would you like? Nine. Number nine. We're gonna lock in briefcase number nine for Stephanie. Briefcase number nine is the one that you chose. Stop. Our next. What is our next briefcase? Six. Number six. All right. Up next is number six. Everybody, open number six. We're gonna lock in number six. We're gonna open number six in three, two, one. 125. Okay. Number we got four, our first eight, match. Five, five. This is gonna be deal or no deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. We have. 
our second match. Got our second match. Do one Not more doing time. Too well. Now, you know what to do. You want to walk away with the offer of fifty-seven dollars. Our third match. Oh, sorry, for sad for her, but sorry for her. Sorry for her. We got. What does that mean? Forty dollars in casino credit right now. If she picked the one cent. I know. The only thing about playing is the last time we watched, we didn't play. So I was really invested in them winning. Now I'm like every man for himself. I have to win. Okay, that wraps up day number five. We had an amazing day in Costa Maya. We really enjoyed our excursion today. We had a great night on the ship. What an awesome show. Deal or no deal. It's kind no, of we didn't a, win. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a scam a little bit because the amount of money that they pay out versus how much people buy mm -hmm. is kind of crazy. Only one person won fifty dollars on That's the why second they can game. So the real game of Deal or No Deal is because they don't pay out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that concludes day five. Like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. We are in Cozumel, Mexico tomorrow. We are going to the Paradise Beach Resort. Uh, Paradise Beach Club. Paradise Beach yes. Club, it is sorry. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. We're gonna spend the day just hanging out on the beach yeah. at an all inclusive. So paddle boarding, kayaking. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Ryan and Kayla. You get all the live stories from Kayla and more of a personal touch. If you have any questions, you can answer them. And uh, last Lastly, if you'd want to join our membership as a way to support the channel for a couple dollars a month, you get early access to videos and that sort of thing. But thank you so much. That's it for today. And we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. Good night.